the dream that our parents and grandparents fought and died and sacrificed for. America, hope is making a comeback. <laughs> Michelle Obama recently made a surprising announcement about her evolving life and career. As one of the most influential figures of the modern era, the former First Lady's revelations have sparked intense interest and discussion worldwide. The announcement has not only captured the attention of millions but has also reinforced the enduring impact of Michelle Obama's voice and presence in public discourse. Her influence remains strong, as evidenced by the widespread media coverage and public fascination with her latest developments. At the 2024 Democratic National Convention, Michelle Obama delivered a speech that left a lasting impression on the audience. Taking the stage on the convention's second night, she showcased her exceptional oratory skills and magnetic stage presence. The atmosphere was electric, as Michelle's words resonated deeply with the crowd, reflecting her unwavering commitment to the values she and former President Barack Obama have championed throughout their lives. Her speech was a testament to her eloquence and ability to inspire, drawing a clear line between the ideals she supports and the future she envisions. Michelle's appearance was equally notable, with her bold and stylish outfit making a statement that complemented her powerful message. In a segment of her speech that drew considerable attention, Michelle Obama took a direct and pointed critique of Donald Trump. With a blend of humor and sharp wit, she addressed controversial topics, including a memorable jab at Trump's term black jobs, which she deftly turned into a humorous critique. This moment was met with enthusiastic applause from the crowd, highlighting the public's reception of her critique. Her comments not only underscored her commitment to diversity and inclusion but also reinforced the broader narrative of leadership and accountability. The immediate reaction on social media to Michelle Obama's speech was a flurry of activity, with users sharing jokes and references to Melania Trump. The online buzz also revived memories of Melania Trump's 2016 Republican National Convention speech, which was marred by allegations of plagiarism. This historical context provided a backdrop for the current social media conversation, with many commenters humorously comparing Melania's past speech with Michelle's recent address. The online discourse highlighted the contrast between the two speeches and contributed to a broader discussion about authenticity and influence in political communication. The controversy surrounding Melania Trump's 2016 Republican National Convention speech began with glaring similarities to Michelle Obama's 2008 address at the Democratic National Convention. Specific lines from Michelle Obama's speech, such as her reflections on the American dream and personal integrity, were echoed verbatim in Melania's speech. This direct comparison between the two speeches was not lost on political pundits and commentators, who quickly identified the issue as blatant plagiarism. The media's swift reaction highlighted the striking parallels, bringing intense scrutiny and debate to the forefront of political discourse. In response to the growing backlash, the Trump campaign initially adopted a defiant and defensive stance. Campaign officials downplayed the controversy, suggesting that the similarities between the speeches were merely a reflection of shared values and inspirational themes rather than direct copying. They argued that such sentiments were universal and not exclusive to Michelle Obama's speech. The campaign also shifted blame to the speechwriters, claiming that Melania Trump had no knowledge of the plagiarism and was not involved in the speechwriting process. Despite these explanations, the campaign's responses were widely seen as inadequate, failing to quell the media's ongoing scrutiny and public criticism. The spotlight then turned to Meredith McIver, a Trump Organization staffer who publicly admitted to including passages from Michelle Obama's speech in Melania's address. McIver explained that the inclusion of these phrases was an unintentional mistake, attributing it to her using Michelle Obama's speech as a source of inspiration. She admitted that she had not properly cross-checked the text against Obama's original speech, which led to the unintentional overlap. McIver's public confession did little to quell the controversy, as many felt that the failure to verify the content reflected poorly on the campaign's professionalism. In the wake of the controversy, Meredith McIver offered to resign from her position, acknowledging her role in the mishap. However, the Trump family chose not to accept her resignation, demonstrating a gesture of forgiveness and solidarity. Despite McIver's offer to step down, the public perception of Melania Trump and the Trump campaign continued to be impacted by the scandal. The lingering effects of the controversy contributed to ongoing skepticism about the campaign's handling of the situation and Melania's role within it. The incident remained a notable chapter in the broader narrative of the Trump presidency, reflecting the complexities of political communication and public relations. 
The 2016 plagiarism scandal involving Melania Trump continues to cast a long shadow over her tenure as First Lady. This controversy, which centered around the striking similarities between her speech at the Republican National Convention and Michelle Obama's 2008 address at the Democratic National Convention, has had lasting repercussions on Melania's public image. As the 2024 election approached, the scandal resurfaced in political discussions, serving as a reminder of how early missteps can have enduring consequences for public figures. This incident has not only influenced the way Melania is perceived but also underscored the importance of originality and authenticity in political communication, showing how a single moment can resonate throughout a career and continue to shape public perception long after the event itself has passed. Scrutiny that came with her position took a toll on Michelle Obama. She often had to navigate the fine line between fulfilling her duties as First Lady and maintaining her personal well-being. The constant pressure to present a composed and unblemished image to the world added to the emotional strain. Michelle was deeply aware that every word, gesture, and fashion choice was analyzed and critiqued, which amplified her stress and contributed to the isolation she sometimes felt. Despite these challenges, she remained resilient, using her platform to advocate for causes close to her heart, while privately shouldering the emotional and psychological weight of her responsibilities. This experience profoundly shaped her post-White House life, where she embraced a more relaxed and authentic version of herself, free from the relentless expectations of public office. Michelle Obama's time as First Lady was marked by significant emotional and psychological challenges that profoundly impacted her life. She faced the emotional burden of being intimately connected to global affairs and state secrets, which often led to anxiety and sleepless nights. The constant presence of the Secret Service and the handling of classified information added an undercurrent of stress that was difficult to escape. Despite the opulence of life in the White House, Michelle and her family made adjustments to create a more relaxed environment for their daughters, emphasizing normalcy amidst the grandeur. The Obamas also navigated the complexities of being the first black family in the White House, dealing with heightened scrutiny and immense expectations. Michelle's decision to steer clear of political aspirations, despite public speculation, was driven by her desire to shield her family from further public scrutiny and to focus on making a meaningful impact through other avenues. The added pressure on her daughters to uphold a positive image due to their historic role underscored the unique challenges they faced. Michelle's resilience in managing these pressures and maintaining her family's well-being highlights the profound personal sacrifices and strength required in the role of First Lady. Michelle Obama faced intense scrutiny as the first black First Lady, with her family, particularly her daughters, under a constant microscope. Every action and perceived misstep by Sasha and Malia was not just seen as a youthful mistake but as a reflection on the broader image of black families in America. Michelle was acutely aware that their behavior would be observed and interpreted through a lens of high expectations, adding immense pressure on her daughters to uphold a positive image. When the Obamas entered the White House in January 2009, Sasha was just 7 years old and Malia 10. Raising them under the intense public gaze presented a unique set of challenges. Michelle approached parenting with a firm commitment to instilling strong values and a sense of responsibility. She implemented strict rules designed to prepare Sasha and Malia for the complexities of public life and to help them handle pressure with grace and integrity. Michelle Obama's philosophy on parenting was centered on preparing her daughters for life beyond the White House. Despite the luxurious surroundings, she focused on teaching them independence and self-reliance. Her goal was to equip Sasha and Malia with the skills needed to navigate life on their own after leaving the mansion. Michelle's disciplined parenting methods included implementing household chores and responsibilities, such as making their beds and cleaning their rooms, and linking allowances to the completion of these tasks. This approach aimed to provide a sense of normalcy and instill a strong work ethic. To manage their exposure to technology, Michelle imposed restrictions on Sasha and Malia's internet use. During the week, their internet access was limited to school-related activities, while weekends were reserved for recreational use. 
This controlled approach was part of Michelle's strategy to emphasize the importance of focusing on their studies and managing their engagement with technology in a balanced way. Michelle Obama's parenting approach emphasized physical activity and personal growth, requiring her daughters to engage in two sports and limiting their technology use to keep them focused on education. She also created the White House Kitchen Garden in 2009 to promote healthy eating and sustainability, which continued to impact after her tenure. Additionally, Michelle launched the Netflix show Waffles Plus Machi in 2021, aimed at educating young viewers about global foods and cooking. These efforts reflect her ongoing commitment to health, education, and philanthropy. Michelle Obama has made significant contributions through her role in Waffles Plus Machi, where she not only acts as the owner of a supermarket but also serves as an executive producer. Produced by Higher Ground Productions, the media company she co-founded with Barack Obama, the show reflects her dedication to healthy eating and aligns with her advocacy for a healthy lifestyle. By combining entertaining puppetry with global culinary exploration, Waffles Plus Machi offers educational content for all ages. Before her time as First Lady, Michelle had a successful career with notable earnings, including a reported $316,000 in 2005. Her professional roles included working as a lawyer, an associate dean, and the president of Community and External Affairs at the University of Chicago Medical Center. After leaving the White House, Michelle's financial success soared with the release of her memoir, Becoming, 2018, which sold millions of copies and was followed by a highly successful book tour. In 2017, Michelle and Barack Obama secured a historic $65 million joint publishing deal with Penguin Random House for their memoirs. This deal, one of the largest in publishing history, underscored their significant influence and appeal, with Penguin Random House's chief executive emphasizing the transformative impact of their leadership and words. Michelle Obama's memoir Becoming, released in November 2018, swiftly became a global sensation, capturing millions of readers with its intimate portrayal of her life from childhood through her White House years. The book's overwhelming success, with over 17 million copies sold by mid-2022, was bolstered by a highly publicized book tour. Her follow-up, The Light We Carry, Overcoming in Uncertain Times, continued this success by exploring themes of resilience and personal growth, securing its place on bestseller lists. Beyond her literary achievements, Michelle's speaking engagements have commanded high fees, including a notable $750,000 for a single speech in September 2023. Additionally, the Obama's $50 million deal with Netflix underscores their influence in media, allowing them to produce impactful content through their production company, Higher Ground Productions. These ventures highlight Michelle Obama's continued relevance and significant impact across multiple platforms. Michelle and Barack Obama have embraced the power of storytelling as a means to inspire, shift perspectives, and foster empathy. Their collaboration with Netflix reflects this vision, as the streaming giant's reputation aligns with their goals of exploring diverse perspectives and addressing social issues. The $50 million deal encompasses a broad range of content, including documentaries, scripted series, and other formats. A standout project is American Factory, a documentary that delves into the cultural and economic challenges faced by a factory in Dayton, Ohio, after being acquired by a Chinese billionaire, which won the 2020 Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature. Through their production company, Higher Ground Productions, the Obamas focus on advocacy themes such as education, health, and community empowerment, aiming to drive positive change and engage audiences in meaningful conversations. Their partnership with Netflix leverages the platform's global reach, maximizing the impact of their projects and influencing public discourse on crucial issues. So, what do you think about Michelle Obama's life? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more celebrity stories and updates. Thanks for watching.